beauties today video i'm gonna be doing some diy on how you can do your um braid half braid then half coil um tutorial yeah i'm gonna be showing you how you can do it yourself diy do it yourself how you can do this you know if you want to like do your own hair how you can do it you know save some money and you know a lot of things you can do with it and in my next video i'm going to be showing you how you can install this particular hair on your hair or on anybody's hair that you want to install the hair so it's going to be a very quick and short video on how to do your own crochet hair half coil then half braid so i'm going to be showing you all the details um on how you can do this so stay tuned and let's do this together so first of all i have my hair i have my stretch hair um yeah i have these products i don't know if you can see i have the um some highlighting colors i started working on the hair already to make this video very uh, shorter so i have my pre-stretch if you don't have pre-stretch if you have the regular expression it's okay all you just have to do is to get your expression, cut it into um, any length that you want and just stretch it out. You're good to go for this particular hair style. But it's, uh, you, have to be, you have to make sure you, you, you stretch it out if you don't have the pre-stretch. And you're going to need your hair. It doesn't matter the color. Go for any color that you want. You're going to need your comb or brush. You're going to need your yarn or um you can also use a thread but i'm going to be using my yarn because the yarn is more thicker than the thread and it's very easy for me when i'm using it so that they don't get broken like when i'm using it so you need your yarn or thread you need your comb or brush then one last thing you're going to need a pair of scissors so that is all you need for this um tutorial and you know lastly we're going to need some hot water so I will be showing you how to do this particular DIY. Let's keep going. You know, like I said before, I started working on this um, here so that I'm gonna make the video a little bit shorter. All you have to do, get your thread, make your thread around your, any object you wanna use. You can use a chair, you can use a table, you can use your dog, whatever object you can, you find around you that is gonna be useful for you. Get it, tie your thread around that object and you're gonna start working on your ear. So I have um, one of uh, one bond, uh, bundle of the hair, which I've already, already been using before. So grab your hair, don't make it too big when you are trying to uh, spread uh, the hair. Like when you are trying to cut the hair, don't make it too big because the reason is that if you make it too big, when you are trying to install the hair on your hair, it's going to be too heavy and we don't want that. So try not to make it too big. This is good. So I'm going to be showing you how you can do your own DIY. So first of all, we're going to take the hair across the yarn like this. Take it across. Make sure there are two equal parts. So then you're just going to twist one time. Let me move the camera. You're going to twist one time like this. Then, like you want to braid your hair, try to split the hair into three. So this is one. This one is little. I'm just going to grab a little from this one too. Put it together. And started braiding. You see? In three parts. And started braiding your hair. So we're going to start braiding. So when you are braiding your hair, try to split the hair so that they don't get tangled because when they tangled, you're not going to get a really good result. So I'm going to braid the hair all the way to right here, halfway. So I've already braided the hair to the halfway. So you're going to grab a little piece from the hair and just make a knot. And just like you tie the hair so that to secure the hair from losing back. So you just do this like three times, you see? You just tie the hair like three times to secure the hair from losing back like that. So we're gonna repeat the process one more time. So repeat the process, get the hair across the yarn, 
like this make sure they are two equal parts twist one time and split the hair into three three try to stretch it out so that they don't get tangled into three and started braiding you see so when you keep doing this you get sometimes when you want to do this it's a little bit tricky but you know when you keep practicing you're going to get more perfect so start braiding through halfway then you're going to tie your knots then we're going to start working on how to do the thread so now i'm just i get to the like halfway you can see i'm going to tie the knot grab a little piece and tie like three knots to secure the hair like i said one two and finish that's it so now i'm going to start threading the hair to give the coily coily um um style that we are looking for so i'm going to use my thread or my yarn to to give the coily shape that i want so i have like three piece of the hair you see i have like three you can do two or you can do three it doesn't matter you know you just don't want to do like too much so that you can get a perfect coily so i have my yarn i'm just gonna twist the yarn like this like around about three to four times then i'm gonna start you see pull the hair back just twist the yarn around. Don't make it in a circle. Make it like a sliding. You see, it's like a sliding form that I'm doing it. No round, round, round. No. So keep doing that. Don't leave too much space. You can see the space that I, I'm leaving. Don't leave too much space when you are doing this. And if you know you cannot do this process, you can also use your rollers. You can use your rollers. You can use your um, straw to do this coily part. So all you just got to do, you're going to pull the thread towards you and push the hair back like this. You see? Then you still have some hair. You're going to repeat the same process again. You're going to repeat the same thing uh, the same thing until you get to the last bottom of the hair. So do the same thing. Pull the thread, thread um, the yarn towards you and push the hair forward. That's it. And all you just gotta do is to secure the hair. Just tie like three times to secure the hair from losing back. Again, I'm gonna repeat the process one more time so that we can. So you see, the reason why we don't want it tangled, we need our comb or brush to get rid of anything because i can see some of the hair tangled here so i have to brush them out for perfect um coily results so we're going to repeat the same pro process do like three tie like three times over here and you know start doing the the sliding one like that don't leave too much space you see i, I have like two pieces of here i have like two pieces right there so i'm going to repeat the same process just make it slide and leave a little little space in between so pull the um, yarn towards you and push the hair back like this you still have some hair repeat the same process like that you see not really hard do the same process and just secure the hair and just tie it up if you know you cannot do the thread, like I said, use the rollers or you can use a straw to get the coily one because this is the way that you're going to get your coily here. So as you can see, everything is all set. The next thing we're going to do, we have to dip this hair in hot water. You know, that is how we get our coily result that we are looking for. You can see this water is really, really hot. I have my hot water. I'm just dipping the hair into the hot water. You know, just let it let it stay about um, three minutes. It's good. That's good. Like halfway, it's good. So I'm just gonna take it out from the water. So I just have my towel to dry some some of the water. 
you see the way they come out so we just got to take the thread off so you have two options is either you you take it off when they are wet or you let them dry it doesn't matter it's up to you but now i'm going to take it off when they are still wet so you're still going to get a perfect result it don't matter once you dip it in the hot water you good except the product of the hair that you get is not a good product maybe you um, you get like the fake expression that is the only reason why you will not get a perfect result but apart from that it doesn't matter whether they, whether they are wet or dry you still gonna get a nice and good result so I'm gonna take this off and show you guys how they look like so I have two left so I'm just gonna show you how I get this result you see you gotta cut the little thread at the bottom like this cut them off and just try to open it up open up the thread and lose the one at the top and try gently split the hair into two make it gently because they are still wet and you don't want to lose your coil so try not to pull too much you're going to repeat the same process you see just cut it cut this little part and open the hair open it up like this just take it with this and gently open up the hair that is why you don't want to do too much you can do it one by one or you do two at a time so that you get a perfect coil do you see how they look this is beautiful right see if you really find this video helpful please um, give a thumbs up like share on your page so that you can go back and watch the video later and you don't have to lose the video and I'm also going to uh, make the video and post this on my YouTube page. You can subscribe to my YouTube channel, Life with Arike on YouTube. And also have my Instagram page, Life with Arike, for these wonderful videos and more wonderful videos that I have on my page. So please, I will say you can share this um, tutorial, this do DIY, so that you, know, you can go back and see, still watch the video on your page. So look at how beautiful they are. So my next video, I'm going to be showing you how I'm going to install this here on my crochet here. You know, this is already in a crochet form. How you can use it on your hair. How you can use it to make it a nice and beautiful style. I'm going to be showing you on my next video. I hope you learned something today. Please, if you really find this video helpful, try to share, like, and comment. Thank you. can see how beautiful they are they look so beautiful and they look perfect you just gotta leave them in the yarn so anytime you want to use them just take it out and use it one one at a time you see how they came out beautiful i hope somebody's gonna try this and i hope you really enjoyed this video thank you bye